everyone, it's Miss Kate. And Miss Hazel. Today we're going to learn about an artist whose name was Lois Mylou Jones. She was African American and um, lived at a time when it was hard for women and especially people of color to, um, you know, be in the world of art and for people of color to be um, accepted in the United States. So she has sort of an interesting life. She ended up teaching at Howard University and she also lived in Paris for quite a while where she um, went to school and she did a lot of painting and she works to, worked with textiles and was inspired by a lot of art from Africa, from France. And so we're being inspired by her painting. It's an oil painting with collage called Moon Mask. So look it up, it's pretty cool. Here's one that I did that was inspired by her. So I was looking at bright colors and um, textures and also um, patterns. So if you look here in her moon mask, there's a mask, actually it's more in the middle of it, with two profiles on the sides. And we're gonna kind of work on that. So I'll show you what I did. We did all of ours with paper and glue. So I started off with a piece of brown paper and this is going to be difficult to see, I imagine, but I'm going to draw a profile. So if you think about what your, the side of your face looks like, you can kind of come down, you know, from your forehead around where your eyes would be, a nose down to your lips. And then, oops, this is going to be a very large chin on this one. And then um, the same thing on the other side, except I'm going to alter it a little bit. I'm using this pencil so I can see on this brown paint. And I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna do it quickly so we can get it right onto the paper. And once it's cut out, I can kind of alter it and see, is that really what I wanted it to look like? I'm not really sure. We're gonna check that out. So I'm gonna cut that out, cut along the lines here. Except I'm actually not cutting quite along the lines. Make the lips again. And then down to the chin and out. So this one there, his nose is a little bit pointy. So I'm just going to round the nose just a little bit because I like that more. Okay, so now we have these two profiles and I'm going to add in a mask in the middle. So for this one, I'm going to use this purple, but I have to remember how thin this is. So I'm cutting an oval-ish shape. And then I'm going to look and see what that looks like in the middle here. So as you can see, I probably want to lop off some of the tops of their heads. So I'm going to go just cut it out a little bit like this. Okay, now I can be ready to put it on my paper. So I am starting with a piece of um, 12 by 18 paper. I'm going to add in some background color for mine. So at this time I think I want to have green as the background. And I'm going to use a glue stick. You could use regular glue if you wanted to. But I'm going to glue this on, flip it over, and put that right here at the top. And now I could add my my profiles. So I'm going to glue the back of this, put this right here in the middle, so then I can add my purple mask piece to the center here. I love a good glue stick so easy to use. Okay, so now I have this. Now I'm going to finish up just part of this for you and then we'll talk the rest of our way through it. I want to add some eyes. Now in the moon mask, she had, um, I, when you see it, the eyes are crying. I am not feeling like mine needs to have crying eyes today. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, but I want them to be the same. So I folded the paper in half so when I cut two they will look just the same. I'm going to sort of give that same shape that she had to her eyes. 
because I liked it, but I didn't really want mine to be sad. So I'll put those in. They're my eyes, and I'll figure out a piece for the nose. That's going to be more purple, so I probably don't want that. I'm looking at contrasting but bright colors. I'm going to cut out a shape that is like almost like a pyramid, right? Can you say it looks like a pyramid? Nose and they'll glue that in. Nose like pyramid. How's that? Oops, guess what? I almost put her the eyes upside down because I'm doing it your direction. Oh, glad you caught that. I'm glad I did too. Otherwise, it would be very silly looking. Okay, now, as you can see, here are the profiles that will be next to the mask. Or this is the mask in the middle and then the profiles on either side. Now, the rest of the time I'm going to spend... Um, adding some design to this. So I'm going to put another piece, another color at the bottom. I have a lot of construction paper on this project. But then I'll be able to add in um, some more color and design. So if you can see on this one, I cut out, so I do it this way, I cut out um, sort of like a cave shape, if you look at it this way. The letter C, yeah, if you look at it that way. And then just some circles. I just added some different designs here. I used the same paper up here, so it gave a full feel to that. Oh, sorry, I was trying to find the glue, the cap for my glue, because I tend to lose those if I don't put it on right away. So if you get a chance, look up, her name is Lois Mylou Jones, and go learn a little bit about her. She's really interesting. Her fabrics are really beautiful. Her paintings, her collage work, also really great. If you get a chance, look her up. Thank you for visiting us today. We hope to see you soon. And remember, if you want to subscribe to us, you can look down below. Our um, subscribe button is here somewhere on the screen. I don't know where it is. But it's not somewhere on the screen. And if you would, if you make any of these, would you ha send pictures to Instagram? You can either send them to us at our email and we'll Instagram them, or if you Instagram them, just hashtag Alameda Arts Fun. Okay, thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Bye.